All right, folks, this is video four of four. I'm gonna finish this worksheet and uh, videos one and two are on the front, about the front of the worksheet. In video number three, we did this portion of the worksheet and now I'm just gonna complete the rest of them. Right now we're working at three eighths of an inch equals a foot. So I'm gonna find the three eighths inch on my ruler. There it is. And we're gonna do 11 feet, three inches. Now we know this is three inches right here because it's three, six, nine, 12 inches total on a foot. So we're moving to three inches, and then we're coming out here to 11 feet. Making a nice dark line. Now for my, in this drawing, I am using the, the uh, 0.9 inch, the 0.9 millimeter uh, pencil, because it does a nice thick dark line. Uh, now we're gonna move to 3 eighths, also a 3 eighths inch, at eight feet, 10 inches. So here's the eight foot mark. And that's nine inches, so one little tick past that. Now we're at three quarters of an inch equals a foot. That's over here on this side, five feet, 11 inches. So there's five feet. And that's 11 inches right there. One, two, three, four, whoops. Who almost made a mistake. That's five feet, 11 inches. And the wonderful thing about pencils is you can erase your mistakes. Now we're gonna move on to at three quarters of an inch equals a foot, one foot, eight and one half inches. Did I read that right? I did, it's a tiny line because we're down here at one foot. There's six, seven, eight and one half inches. On the three-quarter scale, each of these ticks is a half inch. The bigger ticks are one inch, the next largest are three or are three inch marks, and then here's the halfway point. So six, seven, eight, and one half inches. Another at one inch equals a foot, so this is full scale. Four feet, six and a half inches. So since we're working at one inch equals a foot, one, two, three, four feet, six, and one half inches. Because that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoops. Am I using the wrong scale? One, two, three, four. Oh, interesting. Sorry about that. Let me switch over to the correct scale. Doodly doo. Here we go. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna measure four feet, six and one half inches. So here is four feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow, interesting. Why can't I figure out the scale? Well, we're gonna eyeball it. Four foot six and one half inches right about here. Because we know that half of an inch is six inches. Uh, we're gonna skip this one, then we'll get to one and a half inch equals a foot. And that is right. Oh, here's my one foot scale. Folks, I finally found it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's try this again. Four feet six and one half inches. So that's four feet there it is, six and one half. I got it right, good. Lucked out on that one. One and a half inches equals a foot. Here it is. We're gonna draw one foot four and one half inches. So this is our one foot mark right here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four and one half inches. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do that again. It's gonna be nine feet. I don't think we can do that at one and a half inch equals a foot. No. Nope, it's nine and three quarters inches, that's why. There's nine inches right there. There's 10 inches. There's nine and a half 
So there's nine and three quarters. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the number of inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three quarter. Now we're gonna do three inches equals a foot. Here we go. We're gonna do one foot six inches. So this whole thing is one foot. There's three, six, nine. Uh, ooh, barely fits. So here's our one foot, six inches. And we're on to the last one, which is eight and three quarter inches. Here we are at nine inches. It's not quite nine, it's eight and three quarters. So six, seven, eight and a half. Eight and three quarters is right here. Because this is one inch, so that is three quarters of an inch. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. Okay, put my name on the bottom. You should do the same. It is not this date, but I don't know what the date is. And my lucky number is 11. Last period two. So you're gonna take a picture of both of these and turn them in for the assignment. This is the assignment, measuring with the architect scale. I know this is exciting stuff, folks, but you gotta learn it if you're gonna work in the industry. This is a much more fun way to do it than to show up on a job site and have to admit to your boss you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, have a good day, y'all. Take care, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, I'll talk to you soon.